Hey guys, this is Dan with Syntex, and today we're going to go do a quick lesson on a couple different methods here with our web driver uh, from Selenium here. One of which is called get current URL, and the other one is get title. So we're going to show you how they work and, and what they're used for, and we give you guys a little hands-on assignment to do, and uh, we'll go over them together as well. So uh, as we said before, you know, we'll, before we get started, if you hadn't watched previous videos, please go ahead and do so. It'll be a little bit easier to understand what we're doing right here, right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So if this looks all pretty familiar to you guys, right? So if you watch our Chrome driver video, we have this completely set up and we're ready to navigate uh, with our navigational command here. If you also watch that navigational command video, so we're ready to go to Google. Okay, so we have two different methods like I talked about is get current URL and get title. So what they do is, let's say we're at google.com for instance, and this is the page that we're currently on. Well, pretty self-explanatory, get current URL will get us in the form of a string, the current URL that we're on right there, and it'll get that for us, right? Now let's say the title, and I believe the title for Google is just simply Google, it'll get us the title of that page. So let's kind of show you how that works. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, so we're just going to call this method. So, but first we need to kind of print them out, right? So let me get a, um, a printout line here. And then let's say driver dot, and we do get current URL. Okay, and then let's do another one. Let's do a get title, just so we kind of see what they should be printing out, right? driver dot get and then we see here we have title okay so I talked about kind of what they do I talked about what you should expect from them and here's a little quick Google example and uh, me with a printout line here just basic Java it should print us out right here the string which is what these should be returning um, and we can see here uh, for our return types on any method uh, whether it being Java or selenium if you look here when we select we know that this is coming from the web driver and you will always see a kind of return type here. Sometimes it might be void if it doesn't return anything. Uh, but in this instance, it's showing us it's returning a string. All right. So we're going to go to print out that string just so we can see here uh, what happened. And we're going to go ahead and hit run and see what happens. Actually, no, one more other thing. Uh, we'll go over these commands later. There's also driver.close and driver.quit. Uh, I'm going to do driver.quit for now. But these two uh, methods here will go in a future lesson. Here we go. There we are. So let's go ahead and save. Then we're gonna run. And there we go. It should shut down completely, which is what driver.quit does. And again, we'll talk about that in a future video. But we see here that what we printed out, get current URL, printed us out the URL, google.com, and it also gave us the title, which was Google. Pretty pretty simple, guys. Pretty self-explanatory, right? So here comes the hands-on lesson what I want you guys to do is go ahead and I want you to go to Google with your Chrome driver and I want you guys to get the current URL and the current title or, or get the title I'm sorry I use both those methods and I want you to make sure that the current URL matches the URL here that you passed and I also want to make sure that the title matches the word Google as you see it should have printed out here all right so go ahead and pause that and go ahead and do it and then when you unpause and you come back we will go over it together and see how it's done okay so here we go guys we're gonna do this together now what we're gonna do is call both of those methods right and since they both return a string we can store them as a string as a variable right so we can say string URL equals driver dot get current URL there we go and then we can also do another one right string we could say title equals driver dot get title and here we go all right, so now that we got this, um, we can also, again, if we wanted to, uh, we can go ahead and take this 
here, this URL that we pass as a string. I can copy this, get rid of it if I want to, and then I could do something like, um, let's just say, you know, string path equals, and then I can do something like, you know, pretty simple here, right? And then I can pass my string in here and just say string path. Basic, basic Java stuff, right? So I have right here, I have a string, which I named path, which is holding the string for Google, right? And then, which is my URL, and then I'm passing that string just as I would have before, just you know, a little bit cleaner, and I'm using the path, right? I'm also capturing, when I go to Google at runtime, I should get the current URL, and I should also get the title. Now, here comes a second part of validating that, right? Now, we can do other kinds of validations. We can do assertions, um, but for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just do a if conditional statement and make things you know really kind of simple and easy, right? So we can say something like, um, let's do, hmm, if, we'll do if, uh, that's good. We'll say if path, Do, 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 do equals we'll do equals ignore case that should be fine equals ignore case and then we'll say URL then we'll come over here and then we'll put our little conditional statements here we can say hmm what do you think we should say we should say we'll just do something simple right match right or then we have else here. Let me scroll down so we can see. We can say else. Then we'll say no match. Pretty pretty simple, right? Um, we can also do another one. We can say if. Do, do, do. We can say if. Hmm, We'll say if title dot, we'll say equals ignore case. And I'll say Google. And then we can do another kind of printout line here. We'll also state match, and then we'll do another else statement here. that says no match. All right, let's scroll down a little bit. And then again, I'll just close the browser um, and we'll go over these methods uh, here in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna do driver.quit. Here we go. If I can spell quickly, there we go. So here we are. So what I've done is let's go over before we run. Let's make sure this is spelled correctly too. There we go. So what we've done is we have have our Chrome driver. We're navigating to Google, which we stored in a string. We're navigating here with that string. We're capturing the current URL. We are then gonna get the title and then we're going to have a couple of conditional statements here. We're saying, hey, look, if our path matches our current URL, then I want us to print out match. If it doesn't, then print out no match. And then we're also doing another statement that says, if our title equals Google, print match. If it doesn't, then hey, no match, right? So let's go ahead. And then we also have here a quit as well. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's clear out this console. And then let's go ahead and save and run and see what happens. Okay, let's see here what happened. We have a no match and then we have a match. Okay, so let's see what happened here. Why, did, why didn't these match? Let's see what happened. So what we can do is we can go ahead and kind of troubleshoot this, right? So we can do something like OK, 
Okay, so my get current URL, say path that equals no case, okay. And let's see here, path. All right, so let's see what printed out here. I know what my path should be, um, but you know what? What we'll do is we'll print this out right above it as well, just so we can kind of see them side by side and see kind of why it didn't match. Maybe I missed something. Let's just double check. Let's save. Keep running. Okay, so here we go. So we see kind of why it didn't match. What we have here is my path didn't have the two forward slashes here. Okay, honest mistake, no big deal. This is kind of how we work these, these problems out and we, we take a look. So, okay, so what I need to do is put down, let's say, that's the proper, I guess, um, way we could do it as well. Um, you know, works without it, but there we go. So now we can kind of see, hey, look, they didn't match, and now we're troubleshooting, see what happened. And we also can add here a little forward slash at the end. And let's see what happens here. Let's see if we get a match. Okay, there we go, guys. We've got our path. It matched our current URL as it was shown. And also, we had our conditional statement here to see if it matched our URL. It does. And then we also had a little validation method here to see if our title matched Google in which it did. So here we go, guys. That's how it's done. Um, that's how we can kind of, you know, go through it. That's how we can troubleshoot it if something didn't work. So this is a little kind of lesson for you guys. If, if something's not working, don't give up. Just keep at it. Just see kind of what's going on. So I showed you guys how to troubleshoot. I showed you guys how well, something as simple as we can print them both out, see what's given us and why it isn't matching, and kind of play the guessing game, you know, what one has and what one doesn't. And then we can kind of go ahead and play with that here, and now we can get them both to match properly. All right, guys, so that's it for me, and happy coding, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.